What is up guys, Pneumatics here with another Minecraft Redstone tutorial video. Today we're going to be looking at trying to make this thing right behind me. Okay, not trying to make, we are going to make it. Maybe not exactly this because it is pretty big and it would make your world lag pretty bad if you did this. But we're going to do a little simpler one I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Let's do this. All right, guys, so what you saw in my city was initially a billboard. So we're going to be making a billboard style ad that you can kind of put in your city or whatever you would like to send a message out to people when they go through. This is what we have right here, a working billboard that advertises. Hi, so pretty simple, easy to build. Well, not entirely easy to build if you don't know a lot of redstone, but it also creates a lot of lag if your computer cannot handle it. So we can either do I'm going to show you how to do this one and i'm going to show you how to do one that sets it just to say hi all the time without the blinking because that is a clock going off so i know i usually point out all the items you're going to need for this build and the amount of items you're going to need but for this particular build i don't think that you're going to be building this in survival unless you're really hardcore like that and you're going to go ahead and get all the materials but we'll go ahead and just do the basics so what we're going to need are some redstone torches some repeaters some redstone one redstone comparator that is going to be needed for the clock then we're going to need any kind of blocks of your choice they're going to be enclosed inside that billboard and then we are going to need some redstone lamps so if you're going to want to go ahead and follow along with the build that i'm doing right here what you want to do is get a 12 by 22 area for your billboard and that is including these lime dyes but this lime wool but if you just want to go ahead and just do these redstone lamps then you're going to want to do a 10 by 20 area on the backhand side, we're going to go ahead around the back here. And as you can see here, I already have a general layout for our high sign. So if you want to go ahead and copy what I'm doing, go ahead and pause the video at this point and copy what I got right here. But for the rest of you, let's go ahead and dig right into this. So what we're going to want to do is see how this is two out. We're going to want to break the blocks that are up right against those redstone lamps so that we can go ahead and place instead some redstone torches right in front. So let's go ahead and get through all of this and there we go now we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone torches and set it up all along each block and then we're going to take a look at the front to make sure that what we have is what we want all the way across and almost there this is mostly what you're going to be using is a lot of redstone torches to make this thing a couple redstone repeaters but mostly redstone torches so there we go there's our little high sign looks pretty cool but it'd be even cooler if we could turn this thing on and off so we're gonna go ahead and go around the back and start digging into that the first thing you're gonna want to do is go ahead and take some of your blocks and then come down one away from this block so one down and one out and then we're gonna come down this way and I should probably make use of some different color wool so you can see the difference here so we'll just grab some orange wool you can see what I'm doing instead of seeing the letters there so break that one and there we go and then we're going to come out and make this kind of U shape all the way around and we're going to take a redstone torch in the middle and we're going to bring some redstone all the way to the ends with a repeater going into the blocks right here oh not a redstone torch that would not be very good and then we're going to go ahead and take some more right above here do another U shape all the way around and we're going to go ahead and do a similar pattern with some redstone repeaters right there and we're going to take our redstone and come all the way across because of course we're not going to want another redstone torch here because it's going to get turned off by this one but the cool thing is the redstone torches they power whatever's above them too so we don't have to worry about these being powered by another source so we'll go ahead and just continue this pattern all the way up and i'll show you what to do when we get to the middle here which is going to be a little different we're going to actually take these blocks all the way across just like that and we're going to take our redstone repeaters and place them all along so we can make sure that we get those redstone torches in front so we're going to take our redstone and place it down like this and i think we are going to want to grab our redstone torches here and place it down right here yep and then we'll go ahead our last little bit right there and continue upward so on as we have been all the way across and i'm going to go ahead and finish up off here bring oh i don't want to do that bring this all the way and one over and this one is going to be our, just our redstone all the way around i think i think i got that right nope this one's going to have a redstone torch so we're going to put a redstone torch 
on this block and some redstone just on the bottom here and our redstone repeater is going into those blocks and then as you look in the front you see that we have a couple blocks that are missing so we're gonna have to go ahead and take care of those now so the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and look at the side and see which torches are on currently and then we're just gonna have place a block on the side of our H and we're gonna do it the same thing on this side to so one out here one here and one here I think that's how actually nope I'm wrong we're going to actually bring it this way so one below the torch that's currently lit so one here one here and one here and let's go ahead and repeat that on this side since I messed up originally and yes yes right there right yes and one right here and one right here and then we're gonna go ahead and place a piece of redstone on top of these blocks because we are going to have them powered by bringing out two more blocks here and here and placing a repeater here and a piece of redstone right there so as you can tell that little torch turned off and all we have to do is continue that process on this one and on this one and then that should have turned off all the torches on this side so all we got to do is do the same thing on this side which is really nice a lot of symmetry going on here we'll go ahead and place more blocks there 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 and our repeaters and our redstone to finish it off and now as you can see nothing is lit up nice raining too so with our eye now it's going to be pretty similar to the h but it's actually going to be a lot easier so what we're going to do is do what we did on the h is bring it down and across and then we are going to come out one more and place a redstone repeater here 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 and over here all along the side and then we're going to go ahead and grab a redstone torch place in the middle with some redstone dust coming out just like that and then all we got to do is go up a block right here we'll go ahead and just bring these out all the way like this and then we can go ahead and take some redstone, place it here. We know we're going to have a torch here, some more redstone here, and then another torch right here. Then we could go ahead and place our redstone repeaters just like this and this. And the only difference with this one is we are going to actually have the redstone going all the way just like that across because if we place a repeater, on top of these blocks these torches will not turn off and as you can see we have a similar issue as we had with h over there so we're going to need some more power putting up somewhere over here so i think yep we can go ahead and put that one right there and we can place another block here and here and then all we have to do is bring this out two more Oop. set that back to one take delay and place our redstone dust on top of that on top of that place a redstone repeater in front of that one in front of that one and some more redstone dust there and there and there you go all of the torches have been turned off so now we all we have to do is go ahead and link up the redstone from this one to this one into one circuit so we can turn on our sign or turn it off so to hook this thing up to one circuit one thing you're going to want to keep in mind is that the torches are what's powering this sign right now so all you need to do is to turn the torches off now to do that all you're going to need to do is bring a block below that redstone torch so as long as a piece of redstone is going into this you don't want to use a repeater because if we use a repeater a repeater is going to keep this block on while putting this so it's going to power this block and this block which will turn this redstone torch off but it's going to send power to this redstone which we don't want because it's going to mess our sign up so we're good we're going to have to go ahead and place some redstone dust down like this and we're going to go ahead and bring it out in an l shape just like that on all of these redstone torches and we're going to do the same on this side so bring it out in a backwards l like that and oh i am totally doing that wrong we need to go and bring it like i said one block below that redstone torch so that it can get powered off because we just put a block in front of it all that's going to do is power that redstone that we're bringing out from it so we need to bring it out like this and like this and then like that and continue it on this side 
And of course, it has to be raining. And I guess I built this thing pretty tall because it's snowing a little bit up there. Bring this out. And that was really loud. Let's go and clear the weather real quick. And now that we have our L shapes in there, we can go ahead and place our redstone down all across. And what we're going to need to do is bring all of these together, making sure that each one has power set to it. And it's getting snow up here. Probably built this a little too high. So let's go ahead and bring this all the way across. Bring this one all the way across. And finally, this one. And what we're gonna need to do is bring our red zone as well. Keep it in mind that we are going to be having an input far away. So we're probably gonna need some repeaters in there somewhere to continue our power to our red line source. And the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and create a redstone torch tower. So what we're gonna do is gonna bring these out just a little bit so that we can go ahead and make our redstone torch tower. I think that should be just fine. So we'll go ahead and place a redstone here and then go ahead and build it up just like this. Break that one break that one and one more so what we're going to do is place some redstone torches all along the tops so that we know each one that we need to turn on and off are the ones that are lit right now so we go ahead and place a block connecting these all along so we got that now all we need to do is get our redstone put up all along these blocks and then all we need to do is bring this input wherever we want it. For my case, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out this way to show you guys what the sign is doing. So I'm gonna need, like I said earlier, a repeater in here somewhere. We're gonna place one right there, making sure that that power is continuous throughout everything. And oop, I'm, like I said before, need to bring this one below that redstone torch like that and then we can bring this redstone up there we go that should work just fine now all we need to do is grab our lever and there we go it turns off and it turns back on so for those of you that want to go ahead and set this up to where you have the redstone clock in there so that it flashes on and off we can go ahead and do that for those of you who have computers that can't handle that this can easily be hooked up to a daylight sensor just remove the lever put a daylight sensor down and you can have this input in the back. As long as that daylight sensor is seeing light, it'll be able to go ahead and turn this on during the day or during the night, whichever you would like. I would think during the night because it actually lights up and looks really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and build that clock and show you guys how that works. And maybe those of you who are kind of iffy about it working or not, you can test it out for yourselves and see what kind of lag or what it brings. I, I actually have a pretty good computer, so that is why it holds up on my end. What we're gonna to need to do is bring, I believe, we're gonna need something like this. So a block right here. We're gonna need our comparator, that one comparator we needed right there. We're gonna need a redstone repeater going into that comparator. And then we're gonna to have to bring this one more out and bring some redstone dust all along and probably set this to a couple ticks delay so it doesn't flash too fast but at a good amount and a good rate. So let's go ahead and see if this works. It is flushed way too fast. So what we're gonna need to do is bring that down. That's a little better. Now, if you wanna go ahead and slow this down, all you need to do is to go ahead and add more repeaters to the mix. And of course, it's raining again. So if we wanna go ahead and go over here, we'll go ahead and turn that off and just bring this out a little more to show you guys how this works by slowing it up. We'll go ahead and add in a ridiculous amount of repeaters set to full delay with some redstone dust coming out into that block. And let's see what that does. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. 
I think that would work really nice. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you enjoyed this redstone tutorial. I thought it was really cool to go ahead and build a build board type sign in my city. And I'm probably gonna have built a lot more, maybe a couple unique ones like a smiley face or something like that. If you would like me to go ahead and make a tutorial on how to make something like that, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, if you guys like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to get content like this every Tuesday. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.